today's video, I'm going to show you a massage for nasolabial folds. Especially this massage will be useful for those who already have changes in bone, otherwise known as bone resorption. And also, if your nasolabial folds have formed as a result of chronic swelling. So it can be performed once a week. And it's better not to use oil for this massage, as we don't want to our fingers to sleep. And please don't forget to like this video, so I know that my videos are useful for you. Here we have a maxillary fossa underneath the eye socket. And as we age, because of bone resorption, this fossa enlarges and falls inward. And this is where the muscle that lifts the upper lip is attached. This muscle falls inward together with the maxillary fossa and pulls the nasolabial fold. Therefore, we need to work with this area. Step 1. Place your knuckles under the zygomatic bone, right in the fossa. Tilt your head forward. And if possible, place your elbows on the table. You must apply firm pressure to the periosteum. The periosteum is the sheath of bone that nourishes the bone. With the help of blood circulation, our bone has the ability to regenerate just like our other tissues. The deeper you go into the fossa, the more effective it is. If there is pain, it means there is tension in the muscle. Then gradually move closer to the periphery. And stay there for a while. and more closer to the ear tragus. In this way, we stimulate blood circulation and the bone will regenerate. And at the same time, we remove the spasm from the muscle that raises the upper lip. Here we have the masticatory muscles. If it's in spasm, it shrinks and becomes smaller in area. When it becomes smaller, the nasolabial fold becomes larger and deeper. Therefore, we need to remove the spasm from this area, increase the surface and volume of masticatory muscle, and as a consequence, the nasolabial folds will get smoothed out and become less noticeable. Step 2. So put your tongue on the upper palate and with one hand fix the soft tissue here. And now form a hook and slowly and very deeply move towards the ear. Very slowly and very deeply. If the motions are superficial and weak, there is actually no point in this technique. And gradually go higher and higher.
and now do the other side. Do the step at least for one minute. I repeat you again, uh, motions must be very slowly and very deeply. The problem is that with age the bones of the face fall inward and shift to the center. As the bones shift to the center, the tissues also shift to the center, forming nasolabial folds. We need to put the bones in place and increase the distance between them. Step 3. Let's work on the zygomatic bone. Put one finger on the nasal bone and the second finger on the zygomatic bone. And as you exhale, pull it apart. Move very deeply along the periosteum. Don't use oil or cream. We need friction because we are using the osteopathic deep technique. Now let's work in our soft tissue and swelling. You see this thick fold that look like a roll. So 80% of that is swelling. Let's try to move that swelling down and fill in that nasolabial fold. Step 4. We are going to use the buckle technique here. Put your thumb as deep as possible to the zygomatic bone and make motions like this. In the first place, in this way, we move excess fluid into the nasolabial fold. And in the second, we stretch and lengthen the spasmed muscles.
and if you look at this side you can see the result immediately